And then there's swimming. Some moms will get you into the water early and take you often. Others don't. Is it better to be the Weddell seal version of a couch potato nursing the weeks away? Or to be a frequent swimmer? Project scientists are studying whether there is some kind of trade-off. Do you gain more weight by swimming less in the cold seawater? That might be a good thing. But on the other hand, swimming more could mean that you gain skills to help you survive the tough years ahead. One of the things we see mothers do a lot is get in the water and beckon to the pup with some calling and with holding nursing. And then eventually pups like this at about two weeks of age will start to swim. And when they do that, we'll hear pups bawling in there, sometimes looking like they're having difficulty coming back out. And mothers will come in and rake the ice. You can see various ledges in this ice here. And the mothers will make these very smooth ramps, testing those over and over again. The other thing they do when they're swimming with their pups, especially early on, is they will be very, very close to the pup. We occasionally see mothers push the pups up out of the water to help them get back out. So pups are getting in here, swimming anywhere from one to 10 times a day, and sometimes anywhere from an hour or two a day to up to 15 to 16 hours a day. To find out how much they swim, scientists attach small tags on some pups that sense when the animal is in the water and how long it stays there. Then they monitor the weight of those pups to learn if there's any connection between time swimming and weight gained. Years from now, they'll be able to learn if it made a difference for the pups who survive. Is it better to swim a lot? Is it better to swim a little? Some intermediate kind of Goldilocks amount where the intermediate is just right. And then eventually, many years from now, seven or eight years from now, we'll learn which pups are the best at surviving. So far, the best of all, the champion mom of all the moms in the study, was 31 years old when last recorded in 2014. She was nursing a new pup, the 22nd in her long career. Tag number 1929C, she was both the oldest mom ever recorded and the most prolific. Since 2014, she has not shown up in the study area, but her daughters have. Here's one of them, 8731A, already 26 years old, with her 17th pup well on her way to being an outstanding daughter of an outstanding mom. And this veteran, 0550C from a different lineage, she's 27 years old, shown here with her 19th pup. Altogether in 2017, there were 39 moms in the study area older than 20. As a group, those 39 moms had already given birth to a total of 452 pups. These are the super moms. <laughs>